The stage three ported heads from Livernoy have finally arrived. And in this video, I'm gonna go over what exactly has been done to the heads, why those changes make a difference, and what kind of power gains we can expect. So initially, I ordered a pair of used three valve heads off of eBay. Thought they're in pretty decent shape, but once I removed the camshafts, I noticed some scoring on some of the cam towers. And while it's hard to know if there's enough damage there where it'll actually cause an issue, I figured since I'm basically building a thousand horsepower engine, it's just not a corner I want to cut. But if any of you want to take a stab at it, I put those heads up on my store anyway. Maybe one of you can fix them up and give them a proper home. And thank you to all of you who have made purchases on the store, especially those that have bought sunglasses. You know, this build is really starting to break the bank and I just really appreciate that support. Anyway, I ended up going with a pair of brand new heads from Mod Max at the demoralizing cost of 1300 bucks. Once those arrived, I checked them out. They look great. You can tell they're definitely brand new. And I recorded the width and height of the intake and exhaust ports with a digital caliper and then I sent them off to Livernoy. And just a few days ago, the finished heads finally arrived. So let's check them out. So what exactly is porting anyway? Well, as most of you probably already know, it's just the process of modifying a cylinder head's intake and exhaust ports to allow more air through. And while that is generally done by widening the ports, it's also done by changing their internal geometry or shape to optimize for overall airflow. Livernoy's Stage 3 porting package uses a 5-axis CNC machine which allows it full access to shape the ports. The average size of the intake ports before I sent them out was 61.8 by 27.4 millimeters, which increased to 64.8 by 29.2. And the exhaust ports went from an average size of 34.5 by 31.9 millimeters to 39.4 by 34.4. Airflow on the intake side increased to 288 CFM and 196 on the exhaust side at half an inch lift, which is roughly an increase of 25%. The Stage 3 package also includes stainless steel valves that are a millimeter large in diameter and upgraded springs that are good for almost 8,000 RPM. Now it's worth pointing out here that these heads aren't polished, meaning that the port walls haven't been smoothed out to a mirror-like finish and are actually a little bit rough. And there's a couple good reasons for that. On the intake side, having a little bit of uniform texture will actually prevent fuel from clinging to the port walls, which just means a better air fuel mixture. And flow bench testing has shown that there's typically less than 1% difference in airflow between a textured and polished port. Now there may be some marginal gains to be had by polishing the exhaust ports, but when I went to my local engine slash machine shop and asked them about, you know, how much would it cost to polish the exhaust ports, they were just like, hey man, don't do it, it's not worth it, you just be wasting your money. Now why do ported heads allow an engine to make more power? I know most of you already know this, but let's walk through it real quick. On the simplest level, a ported cylinder head just allows more air to get into and out of a cylinder by reducing airflow restriction. And when you can get more air into a cylinder, that means there's more oxygen. And where there's more oxygen means you can make more powerful explosions. And obviously, more powerful explosions will yield more horsepower. As for the upgraded springs that Livernoy provides, those just allow engines to go higher up into the rev range without experiencing valve flow. So an engine with high lift cams will be able to access even more power. There are other aspects to it like how the shape of the port affects air velocity, but for the sake of this video, that's all you need to know. So what kind of power gains can we expect from these ported heads? Good question. Well, Livernoy tested a stock three valve motor with the exception of long tube headers and it made 325 horsepower to the crank. After they installed their stage three ported heads, the, the heads that I now have, that same engine made just over 400 horsepower. That's an increase of 75 horsepower on a three valve motor with a stock intake manifold and stock camshafts. Pretty impressive. And given that my Mustang currently makes about 360 to the wheels, it seems totally reasonable that it could clear 400 with these heads. But unfortunately, we'll never really know if that's the case because I've decided that I'm not gonna install just these heads. 
Instead, I've opted to have the whole engine taken out and rebuilt with a Forge 5.0 stroker kit that includes manly crankshaft, pistons, and H-beam rods that are all good for 1,000 plus rear wheel horsepower. I'm also having a number of other upgrades and maintenance done to the engine like new fuel system, valve train, timing kit, battery relocation, and we'll go over all that stuff in another video. But my point is that when the engine's out and all this good stuff is being done, that's when I'm gonna have these new ported heads installed. So if you're interested in seeing how all this is gonna turn out, you know what to do, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.